Well, Mama took care of, care of me while I was sick, and she made me chicken soup. Well, she made too much. And I think I got over it quicker than she thought I was, so I appreciate her taking care of me. But uh, I'm not going to throw that out. I'm going to save part of it, but the other part... I'm going to make Cast Iron Wednesday and we're going to make chicken pot pie in a cast iron skillet. Let's get after it. Alright, here we have our ingredients for our, our dough, uh, our pie crust. This is the same pie crust I use on the Granny Smith pie. Here's what we got. We've got four cups of flour. We've got two tables or two, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of sugar right here. We've got a stick and a half of butter, which comes out to 12 tablespoons of butter. Here's our Crisco, which is 12 tablespoons of Crisco. Here we have some cold ice water. I always put my ice water out and get it ready, put some, put some ice in it, that way it'll be cold. Let me set you up on the cabinet cam and we'll start mixing this up. Okay, here we go. Here's our flour. We're going to put our dry ingredients in. Our sugar and our salt. I think I've made this for you before. But you want to get all these dry ingredients kind of incorporated together. It's really easy. People, people say they can't make pie crust. I'll tell you, if I can make it, anybody can make it. It's a, it's easy. Don't be afraid of it. There's our dry ingredients mixed up. Now we're going to put our Crisco in. And I should have had our butter cut up, but I don't, so get our butter cut up. You want this butter to be cold too, by the way. You, you want to leave it in the refrigerator until you get ready to to, to mix it and incorporate it with the flour. Because you don't want it melted. In fact, you, when you get done, you want chunks. You want to be able to see chunks of butter in that. This is a real good pie crust. Be excellent for. I've used it for uh, chicken pot pie before. It's a rich pie crust. There's your butter. As you can see, we got it all mixed in there together. Now we want to get it cut in. This is called cutting in. And if you'll take and push down and twist, it'll, it'll go together better. Those chunks of butter, like I said, you want those, you want chunks in there left over when you get done. That's why when you, the last process of this, you use the cold water. Use that cold water because if you use warm water or 
or just tap water it'll melt that butter and that's a that's a good part of this recipe got that started and got it incorporated as you can see in there those chunks of butter in there that's what you want to see let's get our water always keep my water in the refrigerator until I'm ready for it and we need 12 to 16 tablespoons of water added to this. I generally start with about 10. Let's go for 11. And then you want to start working. Start cutting it in again. And it'll get in your in your little cutting tool. See, we're starting to get pretty well incorporated. I think we need about five more. So about 16 is what we're going to end up with, I think. You don't want it doughy, you don't want it wet, but you don't want it dry either. It's okay to let that get up in your in your cutter like that because that lets you get down to that there's flour there's some flour down in there and I can see it and it lets you it lets you get it yeah we're just about right and if you do get it a little damp you can add a little flour to it but I think we're just about there we're just about right so we're we're at 16 and and a, and a lot of times your humidity outside and all that type of stuff will will mess with this as well so you have to know that keep that in mind but you kind of want to incorporate this but you don't want to you don't want to handle it very much you don't want it getting getting hot you want it to uh, you want it to stay you can see you can see what we got there and uh, it's all incorporated there pretty good so I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a little flour out here and I'm gonna work it gently out here on the counter got just a little bit left there we're just gonna work it around a little bit and incorporate it make sure it's all all stirred up. Now I made a double batch because I don't like to be short on on dough when I'm doing pies, whatever it is, pies or anything. 
So this is double more of what I need. So I'm not going to fool with that much anymore. I'm going to cut this in half. One's going to be our bottom and one's going to be our top. I'm going to uh, wrap these in saran wrap and we're going to put them in the refrigerator and let them stay in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes. We'll come back and we'll put our pie together. So when I get these wrapped up and put in the refrigerator, they get cooled down, I'll be back and we'll continue on. kind of cleaned up. Let's put our filling in. We're not going to make this super thick. I did add a can of cream of chicken soup to this filling because we kind of like it thick. We don't like it running when, it, when we cut it get it cooked, baked, and then cut it, so I did add a can of that in there, but this chicken soup was excellent that she made me, and I just knew there was no way we were going to waste that. We would have froze it, if nothing else, but uh, get our, we have got do have our oven, uh, Preheating at 400 degrees. That's probably enough right there. The rest of it we'll we'll take care of. All right, let's get our top and we'll uh, put our top on it. All right, let's get our our top rolled out here. I think I worked that bottom good enough. That's why it was coming apart on me. Got a big hurry. our crust thick too. We're crusty people. <laughs> coming apart on me. Sometimes you just have to work it.
Get in there now. I doubt if I'd make it as a pastry chef anywhere. But hey, I could feed you if you need to be fed. There we go. Let's just roll this up. Slow and easy. Like so. Leave that there. Get her filling back. Come on, old girl, let go. There's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> and you just start pinching it together. Like I say, I'm not a pastry chef, but if you were hungry, I could probably feed you. I want you to take that fork, just kind of go around the edge like that. It'll meld those two, your bottom and your top together a little better. And they make tools for this too, I'm sure. There we go. We'll cut a couple slits in there. We'll put it in the oven for an hour at 400 degrees and we'll see what we got on the back side. Well, there's the finished product. That's how she came out. I put a little, you notice I put a little salt and a little bit of pepper on top. And uh, we like to put a little garlic powder on top of ours as well. but. Uh, that's how it turned out. I'll cut a piece and uh, show you the piece that I cut. I'll leave it in the, uh, maybe for the thumbnail. But uh, that's my cast iron Wednesday. Chicken pot pie in a cast iron number eight Griswold skillet. Don't get no better than that. Thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video. And uh, tell everybody about me. My channel needs to grow. Thanks for watching.